how bad is my air conditioner? Can you hear it like super bad? I can hear it, but it's just kind of a background hum. Okay. It's real hot today for some reason. I got I got real hot in here. Right, are you seeing the screen with you and I on it? Uh, hold on. Give me a second. No, don't worry. Minimize that. Not that. Open this. So apparently you can do all the things on the app now for Twitch, which is new. Ooh. Like you can get your to your dashboard, all that good stuff. If I can undo that. Are you normally at that height in your little box? Hold, hold on. Where will you eh, be when eh, you're there? Eh. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. There yeah. we go. <laughs> oh, kitty, I said kitty. Meow. Kitty. <laughs> All right. Let me post to people. Yeah, I have the exact same thing going on. It's great. Um, Wunderbar. Yes, is... I can see us. I okay. can see us. <laughs> okay, you see over here with all the... I like how I'm pointing at it like you're going to see my hand. There's a dog back there. Look, you can't oh. tell, but there's a, there was oh, a, some stuff moved. See? There's yeah, fewer no, boxes see. back here. <laughs> there's so much accomplished. Not really. Not much. Just a little bit. All right, I'm posting all of the places that we are on the things. If you could be so kind as to... Um, do that other thing. Twi the, Twitters? The tw yes, the Twitters. Correct. I'm like, mm, there's a thing. Burr, 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 burr. Uh, my phone is so going to die here soon. Oh, no. I have 13% battery. And uh, just do a tweet. Oh, no. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, we are... Eight, we eight, we are. <laughs> um, we ate live. Twit. <laughs> Some people are into that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why do we? Hmm. We were live. Now we're not live. What's going on? Why was I there? I could see myself. Are we still live? We're still uh -huh. live. That was weird. It gave me like the other thing we were hosting for a minute. Weird. Yeah. We are still live. We are wonder, still live. Yeah. If I can swing my camera a little bit more this way. Sort of. That's better. I am less looking to the side now. <laughs> Yay. Hooray. Uh, Hooray. We are live on Twitch. Come join us. Hooray. Mm -hmm. Do it. Also, I need to save this recipe before I lose it. Shit. Where'd it go? Ah, I lost it already. Did I really lose it already? Tweet. I did not actually lose it already. Did I really? That would be impressive. <clears throat> that would be super impressive if I did actually manage to lose it again already. <laughs> um, no, I got a bunch of split peas in, and I have a ha frozen ham in the freezer. Mm -hmm. um, that's where you would keep frozen ham in the freezer. So I was finding a recipe for a split pea soup that I can make in the crock pot so I don't have to like worry about it. Cool. Um, that, that is definitely a recipe that can be made in the crock pot. Oh, it's super easy. And I refuse to... I did broccoli beef this week. It's very impressive. <laughs> I, was, I was impressed with myself, personally. I don't know. Um, maybe it wasn't very impressive. But I was impressed with my own capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I... Uh, when you go to your copy of the notes... Hold on, I'm I'm trying to. Oh, I see, I see it. Oh, I see it. I'm trying to get my camera more in. Eh. Come on, camera, work with me. Camera. Camera. Uh, camera. There we go. So that I am less turn. Nope, I need to turn this way. That's right, because How many backwards. ways can you turn? It's backwards to what I think it is. There we go. <laughs> um, um, burr, 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 burr. um, got none of those. I got a, I got an article. Has, oh, I have oh, a, right. I, mm, I should have I had done, a hold news. On. Peak news. I had a news. Just, uh, well, 
Let's hope it's not a movie trailer, because it's all movie trailers. No, no, <laughs> no mine is not. Uh, let's see here. Burr, 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 burr. Um. Barf. Borf. Oh my god, I know. Is he fit seriously? Like, he could really care less about his treat this week. <laughs> really, bro? Come on. And a win. Come here. This fucking dog, man. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off right now. Hey, you want, do you want it? It's cheese. Of course you want <laughs> it. I'm going to show off the dog. <gasps> Hopper! Come back! <laughs> Okay, that is that is cute and sweet. I will get this copy. Sit. 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 Good boy. Paste. He's there. like he's like, I mean, I don't have to sit though, do I? Can I like <laughs> not sit and that's also okay? Mhm. Mm <sighs> My dear lord. Yeah, that's a that's a short but sweet story, and let's see if I can find. Ba -da 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 -da. Da. <laughs> um, Internet news star April the Dr oh okay. Um, I'm not reading it. I'm just reading it. <laughs> um, meh. Here we go. Here's a fresh one. Oh, Copy. good. Oh, good. Paste. Truck spill. That's fun. Okay. Now that we have news stories. See my kitty anymore, but that's okay. That's Need to be idea. on my face, but she's all curled up now. So I can I can swing this real quick. Let you see my my kittykins. Meow. Meow. She's all she's all sleepy. She's so sleepy. Sleepy. She's so so sleepy. All right. Eat, eat, eat. Back on my face. <laughs> Why is my Sleepy. camera being... Sleepy. There we go. Um... Yeah, I'm about ready to get this show on the road. Give me just one more secondo, and then I will be ready to go. Oh, excellente! Um, excellentro. <laughs> um, And we don't have bumpers, so I'm just going to start talking. <laughs> yep. And uh, you are ready to begin whenever you are ready to begin. And we'll try to ignore the dog and hopefully he won't bark too much. And I will continue to try to figure out a, a solution to the dog barkitude. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I'm going to give it a couple of moments of silence. Hopefully puppy won't bark and then get going. Hello, and welcome to episode 126 of Geek Girls. The Geek Girls podcast is supported primarily by our patrons. You can find us at www.patreon.com slash grills. I am Linda, and I am joined by my co-host, The Jen. Uh, Hi. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, September is helping the band, I think is what she said she was doing tonight. They have a big um, gig this weekend, so they needed to do yeah. some extra practice. I think something about the different drummers sitting in or something. So 
they needed to be ready uh, for that. And her yeah. house is practice space. So she she shares her <laughs> recording space with the band. So. Indeed, and I share my recording space with a dog That's who has her. decided to bark at the cat for no reason. Orf. <laughs> Oh, pupper. Oh, boy. I like how he hasn't barked this much at all, like, while we were preparing. But now we're like, okay, we're live with the show. And he's just like, bark, 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 bark. <laughs> I love having a puppy. He's so adorable. He's, he is very sweet. Um, so <laughs> what have you been up to this week? Oh, God. Um, Orf. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, I've been like delivering all the food to all the people. Uh, I've been doing like all the Postmates and the DoorDash and all that crap. Uh, Got to make that money. Um, and then I started watching uh, the new episode uh, or the new season of The Voice, which has John Legend as the the other judge this season. So that's kind of cool. I like him. He's an EGOT recipient. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that means he has an Emmy, a Grammy, a Tony, and an Oscar. So very, oh. very fancy. Um, I did finish watching The Umbrella Academy. It's freaking so, so, so good. So watch it. So good. Um, <laughs> I still enjoyed, yeah, I enjoyed the end of it. I was glad I pushed through, um, but it is super duper good. Um, it's not posted as of yet. I think it should be up soon. Um, but I did record uh, an episode of Trending Lemon, which is a podcast with Bryce Neshkom Castillo, uh, a diamond clubber. Um, so that was fun. We had a we had silly conversations about BuzzFeed quizzes and uh, yeah, stuff like that. So that was super fun. But yeah, kept myself pretty busy doing school and deliveries, and then occasional nerding where I could fit it in. <laughs> <laughs> Occasional nerding. Occasional. Um. <laughs> Limited nerding, unfortunately. So, that's really cool. And uh, I did LARP prom. Um, <laughs> yeah. A.K.A. <laughs> the big, like, party uh, for the Garden of Destiny's LARP that I was at this weekend. I am so tired. I'm, like, mentally tired because... I'm playing a diplomat, so I had to talk to almost every single NPC that walked in that wasn't trying to kill us. And I'm just like, by the end of it, I'm like, oh my god, this is the reason why I only play one diplomatic character at a time, and I take <laughs> giant breaks between diplomatic characters. Like, I haven't played one since, like, 2000 and, I want to say, 11 was the last time I played, like, a huge Diplo, Diplo character. Diplo monkey is what I call them. <laughs> yeah. My, my LARP character in Vampire that I played for, like, more than 10 years uh, was very, very politically involved. And it was exhausting. It's exhausting. Mm-hmm. You're like, this it's- thing has this whole world and I've got to maintain all this crap and yeah you're like i have to make sure that i'm talking to the right person that they're over here that this person isn't talking to that person that they're not crossing wires and it's just oh my god (laughs) (laughs) it makes you respect like real life politicking a lot more (laughs) like yeah it's a really exhausting lifestyle that i'm kind of glad i don't have to do on a regular basis yeah so but so that's done all i gotta do is Put in my set of downtimes for this game, and then I get to be not a diplomat in the next game I'm playing, which is in a couple of weeks. <laughs> what, uh, what genre of LARP is this again? Is this Gardens of Destiny? Garden of Destiny, yeah, it's it's um it's considered a multi-genre, which means it's got several different worlds that you can come from. Hmm. So, but it, it's like it's overarching fantasy. Okay. Um, That's but you, there's, yeah, so it's like you've, there's a, there's a sci-fi world you can come from. There's, um, like a noir world. There's like a full Shakespearean world. Um, there's just like, I think it's eight different ones and they each have their own themes. Yeah. So that's, it's, it's a fun. The culture clashes are fun. <laughs> I, I bet. Like I imagine like. Sometimes it's really funny when, like, people decide to play with Vampire LARP in particular, like Vampire the Masquerade, World of Darkness is what I played for a long time. 
And people would get this idea to play like a super ancient vampire that just recently woke up and like was in nap time for like a few hundred years. And they're like, good day, sir. What is this strange contraption (laughs) of which you use to share voices with others? Like, you know, and they get all like, and I'm like, all right, dude, like it gets so silly. I'm like, okay. (laughs) Yeah. Well, like, so my next, my next character is going to be from the Shakespearean world. That's and cool. one of the requirements is you have to use the Queen's English. Oh, the King, okay. King's Not English. so cool anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to have to like brush up on that and be like, ah, good day, my fellow uh, c- countrymen. Uh, good how... morrow, country. Kin- good, good morrow, kin- kinsmen. Yeah. <laughs> how... How art thou? Or actually, I could say if I'm being formal, it's how are you? You know what's funny? I just watched Role Models this weekend, which I hadn't watched in a long time. Have you seen that movie? Once. I've seen it once. Okay. The only reason that I really appreciate it um, to any extent is because it is specifically like a... It's it's one of the the better options other than lightning bolt lightning bolt to show people what LARPing is, but it's so over the top and silly. And my favorite, I can't remember the name of the comedian who plays the role, but he's the one that's like in charge of this one land, not the king, and he's always just like, "Good morrow, kinsmen. I see it <laughs> that you sitteth upon a bench." And then he would just like pepper in like common phrases that like mm-hmm. sounded like like old timey but really yeah. you were like did you just tell him he was a teapot like i don't know <laughs> like i don't know what just <laughs> happened like it was it was so silly like oh but i hadn't watched it in a long time it cracked me up anyway it just made me think about how silly oh larp is fun i kind of miss it sometimes mm. there's not really a larp community down here so but it's a big in georgia georgia larp is gigantic yep i just they just finished the um or they're in the midst of finishing um, the 2019 LARP calendar for Georgia. Um, it's a big old grid. So you just like find the day and then find <laughs> what's playing at what. Like they have it divided up by park now. Oh my um, God. And then by date and then by what LARP is there. It's It's kind of ridiculous <laughs> holy moly well i'm glad you had a good time and mm-hmm. i'm guessing all the costuming worked out oh yeah um i didn't get like the pictures that the they were trying to take of like my full costume unfortunately it was it was it was nighttime yeah. it was very dark um and so they were very dim so i'm gonna probably get someone to come um to my house and just i'll put up like curtains or something and stand in front of them in my full garb but they got a really good picture of me from like the waist up when I was sitting down and it's just, I I just have the most, the look of you want to run that by me again. (laughs) And (laughs) one of my friends is like, she um, like posted on the picture. She commented, she was like, that is, that is the, the best expression of say what now that I've ever seen. (laughs) I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, what? Uh, so I've got I got a couple of good pictures of me. Uh, just not the full head to toe look. So. We'll share. We have to look at them and we'll put them in our gallery. In our gallery. Or ta- <laughs> or tweet them and then tag them. Mm. We'll see them. Oh goodness. Oh, news time. So yes. Oh, uh, now that we it's just us two. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so like I'm like uh what do we oh wait. <laughs> it's because remind us it's, a person. <laughs> it's now time for the geek grapevine. <laughs> so oh, Amber's what have we got here again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're super it's good okay. at this. It's like it's like the the, so the good. cats away, the mice will fuck up the recording and make it really complicated <laughs> for her to edit. That's that's the sorry. Thing. sorry, sorry, Amber. We love you. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to post this. It came out today. I was listening to it on, uh, NPR. We don't have NPR. It's AZPM, um, which is Arizona Public Media. But, um, (laughs) a, uh, London patient might be the second to be cured of HIV, which is kind of crazy. So this happened like about 
10 or 11 years ago, and I, I think this article has the information about the old situation too, but what happened is, is that um, he had, an, the patient had an unrelated case of, was HIV positive, unrelated case of leukemia, and received a stem cell transplant as a treatment for the leukemia, and as it turns out, uh, it may have also cured his HIV. Now, it's too early to sell if he's actually been cured, um, but it does, uh, they showed that he, that it eliminated HIV from what they could tell, mm -hmm. um, so it's the second time, um, so it's interesting, and, and they're saying it may not be something for that would work for any patient, but it definitely is giving some ideas on what they need to look at because I guess some people have uh, the person that he received stem cell stem cells from because when you get a stem cell transplant, you're getting stem cells from someone else, mm -hmm. um, uh, bone marrow stem cells uh, specifically, and uh, the person that they came from is re someone who was resistant to HIV. I guess people can be more resistant and somehow that may have something to do with it as well from some of the articles I was reading. But uh, I mean, um, it's definitely yeah. a, a like a new it's a it's a new theory for them to, to test. Yeah, it gives it. It's, it's always good to have avenues right to to analyze. Um, Excuse me, a hypothesis. I yeah. want to. No, no, not... absolutely. Yeah. Yes. New, <laughs> new areas for research, new, mm -hmm. new. Uh, roads to travel down because when it comes to scientific breakthroughs i mean that just was what it requires is a whole lot of research in a long time so mm -hmm. anytime there's something that gives positive results like that um you know they're going to be jumping on it so that could be really interesting though so yeah that's cool i mean especially because what is it what, yeah the article says it too almost one million people die annually from hiv related causes so mm -hmm. it's kind of a big deal yeah it's it's yeah. just it it's like it's not the HIV that'll kill you. It's the things that it lets into your system. That's right. Yep. Because it, it just, just destroys your immune system, basically. Yep. I have a cat in my lap right now. <laughs> I'm like, you have all the animals. I have mine's, all the animals. Mine's he's... asleep over there still. Yep. Yeah. No, he's, oh, no uh, she's he has awake decided now. that he needs to be on my lap. And instead of him <laughs> lacerating me with his nails, uh, we're going to hug him. Good. Apparently. <laughs> nope. Not on the microphone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the one that I found is just a cute little thing. Um, there is a giraffe that's an internet star, apparently, that's <laughs> over at... Where are you from, lady? Okay, it's over at Animal Adventure Park in New York. Um, oh. She's going to have her fifth baby very oh, soon. Oh, baby giraffe. So another baby giraffe. Oh, um, yay. So she's. Oh, this is gonna be a baby soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna watch this one. Yep. So Ooh. notified later. There, you can you can go you can go to the April the Giraffe Alert dot com. April the Giraffe Alert dot com, and that'll <laughs> like be your labor alert, and it'll text you. Oh my when gosh. When she goes into labor, and you can watch it in live stream. Accessing the message will cost five dollars. Will enable the users to stay updated, and they'll receive exclusive post-birth content. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's good though, because it looks like um, uh, it looks like that is going to Animal Adventures, an interactive educational park that promotes up close and hands-on interaction with the animal ambassadors that call it home. Um, yeah, so like so, yeah, I'm sure cool. all of the money that they get from this is going to go towards like the park and, and outreach <laughs> programs. So yeah, it's, it's like yeah, spend five bucks, get live updates about that and other cool. things. You, you can pay for it via PayPal. Oh, how exciting! <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it looks like yeah, the conference conservation efforts is where their fundage goes to. So cool. Mm -hmm. Super adorable. I like baby giraffes. I think they're super cute. Um, oh, when just, my I... cousin had his son, or had when my cousin had her son, he's a boy, she's a she. Um, when she had her son, I sent giraffe stuff because I think giraffe stuff is super adorable. Oh boy, I am reading the road spill for the week. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh boy. Um, this was on uh, today, this very morning. Um, dump truck full of sand overturns on Highway 118. Yep. Slowing traffic in Simi. Oh, is this Simi Valley, California? Oh, it sure is. <laughs> No, oh, no, I can hear your cat. <laughs> She's very upset at your dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like, he's like, bro, I just want to chill. And the dog's just like, go play with me, though. Is that cool? This is out of control. This dog never barks like this. Literally does not make a sound other than, like, possibly peeing in the corner because he's a puppy. <laughs> but, like, I'm recording and he's like, oh, cool, you're recording? I'm going to literally bark, which I never do. Hold on. Sorry. Maybe Amber. he. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe he wants to be in your lap too. Yeah, I know. He's getting too big for that, though. He's getting big. What's this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I wish you could see his little face right now. Maybe he's. He can. He's very intently waiting for the for the toy. You want, you want the cheese? Do you like the string <laughs> cheese? Do you like the string cheese? Look how cute he is. He's so cute. <laughs> you're, you're lucky that you're cute. Otherwise, I would just be pissed at you. All right, here we go. What's that? Okay, hopefully that will buy us several many minutes of silence. <laughs> keep him busy for a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Dump truck full of sand overturns on Highway 118. Uh, slowing traffic in Simi Valley, California. Oh boy. Uh, this is down in Ventura <laughs> County. Motors were delayed on Tuesday morning while crews cleared the road after a dump truck full of sand turned onto its side. Uh, crash was reported eastbound. Oh my god. Uh, let's see here. No, in, uh, no injuries. No, no injuries. injuries. Yeah, no one was injured. That's good. That's good. Uh, we tend we tend to try and stick to the ones that don't have injuries or the injuries yes. are minor. Because then it makes me feel better about laughing about how silly they yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tow truck was called on the scene. Caltrans crews were sweeping up the sand. Oh my god. I bet they were pretty. Mm, I was gonna make a, like a sand in the JJ joke, and then I'm like, I don't really know. I get, I don't have a lane there. Couldn't get it. But yeah, <laughs> oh my god, it was shut down for hours. Jesus, like three and a half hours. This the mm -hmm. road was shut down while they swept the sand away. Jiminy Christmas. I mean, I I guess you would want to because maybe it was obscuring like the lane markers, but I, I maybe it's just so much that it was too much for the cars. Oh, yeah, I know the, the sand will, will get in things and it'll cause all kinds of issues. Mm -hmm. I think it's true, like, the material that, like, the asphalt, like, material of highways, too, I think, has some weird absorption stuff, too. So I think the sand, that amount of sand might cause issues there, too. I don't know. Yeah. I'm kind of curious, but I think it might be, a, yeah, a safety hazard situation. Yeah, like, there's, two, like, if, if it was a little, like, pfft little thing of sand they wouldn't have cared but if it was it, because it was that much sand they had to get it off the road nobody likes excess sand no too much That's so many silly things so much <laughs> 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 yeah i didn't post a because I, I actually just thought about this um uh because it was only it was recently brought to my attention that uh the big whole etsy thing that happened um like there was a snafu uh, at Etsy where they withdrew a bunch of money from sellers' accounts, um, but I never had an Etsy store, so I didn't. I I wasn't affected by that. Uh, but yeah, I saw that. I would, I didn't put the news story in there. I probably should have, but worth mentioning, I guess, even if we don't have oh the news story good for it. Oh my lord! Oh yeah. Whoops. Did you did you Google it? <laughs> yeah, I did, and it's like major billing empties like sellers' bank accounts. And I'm like, oh crap. Yeah, they took like thousands of dollars from people. Oh yeah, it looks like it was just a, just a couple weeks ago that it happened. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, that impacts a lot of people because like people who have Etsy stores and stuff, sometimes it's like their that's their livelihood, that's their primary income. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Matt, like. 
my husband like shared that with me and I was like, hmm, I knew I knew that there was something off about them. I knew <laughs> <laughs> like they're gonna take all your money. Yeah, well it just I never liked the fact that you had to pay I mean, I didn't mind that you had to pay a couple of cents to like post your things, but then you had to renew that every three months. Like you kept having to pay for it over and over and over again if it didn't get sold. Yeah, see, so eBay does some, because I sell things on eBay sometimes, because I end mm -hmm. up with, like, I don't know, nerd trinkets, and people like nerd trinkets, mm -hmm. and when I have too many of them, I sell them on eBay, and, like, eBay takes a cut of your sales, but it only happens when you have a successful sale. Yeah. I, I don't know, I feel like it's a very small what, amount. That's what, uh, like, Square does as well. Um is they will it's it's a very very small percentage um, for using their basically their app and their company, which I think is fair. Right. Um, but yeah, this is just you know if you're not having any luck or the the you know market is saturated with the thing that you make on Etsy and you're not selling and you're not you you know maybe you can't afford to buy their little ad spaces and you're not being seen, you're just kind of getting dinged over and over again. Yeah, that's not... That's weird. Mm -hmm. I never really knew much about how Etsy works. I've never had an Etsy account myself. Interesting. Whoops. They better figure that out. Those people are going to be pissed. They probably yeah, are, th already was, are pissed, but more people will be I was I was looking at like the comments, and somebody was like, that's a class action lawsuit right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Etsy goes out of business. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the kind of thing that would definitely put certain companies out of business, too, if they can't handle it and get it fixed and turned around. So hopefully they'll get it figured out. Yep. Uh -oh. So um, let's move on to our discussion topic. Uh, yes. I have a, I put a list. I found a list. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> looking at this list. Spring movies. There's, spring movies, there's everybody. There's fucking 8 million movies coming out, coming out, this is, like now. This is just, so the list that I have here is just March through May. Yeah, and it's curated as somewhat too, right? Is this everything? Even if it's um, not, this is this, a lot. This is like the, I think it's the, just the big, yeah, like, like the, the big, a certain, like, production value. Sure. Um, although some of them are off of Netflix, I just I found a list of upcoming movies, and then I went on to IMBD and like actually looked at each one of them and saw what they were about. Um, so if for for March, we've got Captain Marvel, Gloria Bell, Triple Frontier, which is on Netflix, Wonder Park, Af the Aftermath, The Mustang, Five Feet Apart, Captive State, which I actually have seen. Um, ads for on Instagram of all places. Um, Us, Hotel Mumbai, The Dirt, Dumbo, Beat The Beach Bum, The Highwaymen, uh, oh, and The Highwaymen, also on Netflix. That's just March. Huh. Um, and then I, I also put, like, what their, uh, like, themes, gen genres are. <laughs> themes but what other <laughs> genres are for us um and then april we've got the best of enemies pet cemetery shazam which shazam dude I'm, i know i'm kind of fact, excited about I, it i know for I, well i don't know for a fact but i greatly suspect that one of the uh the, the it would, either DC or Marvel figured out the what the other one was doing and was like we need to put that one right there at the same time because of the controversy that was like years ago because Shazam used to be called Captain Marvel yeah and then Marvel was like you can't have that name because we have that name so they had to yeah. change his name to Shazam I don't think it's a coincidence. Um, yeah. back to the list though. Uh, Teen Spirit, Unicorn Store, which is on Netflix. Hellboy, the third what does, installment. What does Teen Spirit smell like? Would you say? <laughs> bad I don't know, joke! But it, Yay! It, it smells like a bad joke. Is what it smells like. <laughs> it's a bad joke. <laughs> um, 
uh, Hellboy, Missing Link, which I could only f- I could only find like a Missing Link movie from years ago, so I don't know what this one in 2019 is. Um, High Life, Little, Breakthrough, uh, The Curse of La Llorona, which is a horror movie, by the way. If you don't. If you don't know the story of La Llorona, I can't talk, La Llorona, uh, it's fucked up. Um, <laughs> um, Under the Silver Lake, uh, and Avengers Endgame. And that's all in April. Holy crap. And then in May, <laughs> there's Holy The Intruder, crap. Ugly Dolls, Long Shot, Detective Pikachu, which I still think is stupid, The Hustle... <laughs> All is True, Tolkien, Biggest Little Farm, John Wick Chapter 3, because we needed another one of those. Uh, well, yeah, you've got to have as many of those as you have Born Identities and Mission Impossible. <laughs> right, right. <So. laughs> um, the Sun is also a star, Aladdin, Ad Astra, Bright Burn, Book Smart, Godzilla, King of Monsters, Rocket Man, and Ma. Um, so, which huh. I... Let's see. Out of that list, <laughs> so I am I, looking... Oh, what do you... What? Let's see here. I um, I definitely bolded the ones that I knew about that I was... Or that, well, that I'm interested in already. But there's 8 million movies coming out. Okay, so for you. So for, let's start with March. Um, yeah. I am looking forward to Captain Marvel. Of course. I'm seeing um, it on Thursday. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it, like, opening weekend. I'm just, I'm super busy right now. Um, I am... I don't know how I feel about, like, the the remake Disney movies. Yeah, the live action Disney movies. Yeah, the ones they've been doing have been okay. (laughs) So, Dumbo, maybe? You know Um, what? I'm intrigued because I like Dumbo as a child. I'm intrigued, but I'm also, like, worried it's going to, like, mar my Dumbo memories right as of being a child Um, at Disneyland I don't know and even though I don't really like horror all that much I I like it somewhat but it's not my favorite Pet Cemetery yeah might be interesting although it so it's like a complete reboot I don't know it it didn't look like it looked like it was getting slightly negative on uh, IMBD, but I don't know if that I don't it doesn't have a score yet because it's not out. Um, but it like it's like they have those little charts that are like um, this is getting you know positive feedback and this is getting negative feedback and Pet Cemetery seemed to be getting some negative, so I don't know if that means some people have already seen it early or if that's just the critics. Not sure about that. Um, so I'm super excited that I didn't notice a couple things about. Oh, I went into April. Oops. Uh, in a Hellboy, <laughs> just 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 before we 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 take too many. Oh, well, no, I'm in, I'm in April too. My brain's in April already. Um, yeah. so I'm super excited about Captain Marvel. I bought my tickets two months ago for the fan event on Thursday, so I'll be going to that. Um, the aftermath. I felt like I was kind of interested. And I saw like a. I think I saw a trailer yeah, for it. Yeah, it's like a. It's it's a post. It's a post World War World War Two movie. So oh, that's why. Yeah, I get into those sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, Hotel Mumbai is of interest to me, but I'm worried <laughs> it's going to make me angry and cry. Um, Shazam, totally into it. Don't even care. Gonna watch it. Whatever. But this Hellboy reboot, I had forgotten that this was happening. Because is it I'd a been... reboot? Or is it a, a continuation of the story? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. But I don't think it's... I don't think that you can just be like, by the way, by Ron Perlman. Here's the... Bra- is it? Wasn't it Ron Perlman? Yeah. Last time? Yeah. I feel like you can't just like all of a sudden be like, oh, right, David Harbour is Hellboy now. Um. But either way, he's fighting an evil sorcerer. Um, sorceress. Who, sorceress. Sorceress. Excuse me. <laughs> um, Mila Jovovich. And so now I'm all of a sudden very interested. Um, mm-hmm. She is my favorite. She's one of the few actresses that does her own stunts. She's amazing. Um, I will watch Resident... Um, I will... Yeah, Resident Evil? Yeah. Why am I just my brain going where? 
Um, yeah. I will watch it over and over again. Um, also Fifth Element. Also Fifth Element. Mm-hmm. Um, Multipass. Um, <laughs> Dallas Multipass. Um, mm-hmm. But she's ridiculous. She is insane. And she's super hot. Um, but it doesn't really say it just says it's based on the graphic novels and caught in the uh, between the worlds of the supernatural and human battles an ancient sorceress bent on revenge Mm -hmm. um it's rated r for strong bloody violence and gore throughout and language which is wonderful that means everything i will enjoy about a graphic novel based film so cool i'm i'm in but i am curious yeah i don't know it it, it's very it it doesn't have enough yet to tell if it's a continuation or if they're doing like a full reboot yeah which i don't i mean the t- the year the the time between reboots is getting shorter and shorter if it is yeah i agree um oh wow but, sasha yeah, lane since... is playing alice monahan in too interesting hmm. huh so since since we're we just kind of rolled right into april yep sorry um <laughs> <laughs> i'm actually again not that big of a horror fan, but The Curse of La Llorona looks interesting. I'm intrigued. Yeah, because I know that story, and it's uh, terribly tragic. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be one of those, like, oh no, mo- family moves into a cursed house and doesn't know it cliches, but, you know, maybe yeah, it'll be whatever. good. That could still be good. <laughs> And um, then that looks terrible. I just saw a snippet of a trailer from like an article. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Yeah, that's why I was like, it looks really, that really looks interesting and good. Fucking terrifying. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. I don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but I'll eventually see it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll sleep right when I'm done seeing it, but I'll see it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I might then- not sleep right afterwards. We'll see. Avengers Endgame. Want to see the end of that story? Yeah. Because- um. Now, I I have to say, I have actually specifically not watched trailers for Endgame. Yes, Um, I have not. I have not either. Unless I'm at the theater and one happens. And even then, I do kind of try to, like, shy away a little bit. But Mm -hmm. I have not seen uh, full trailers on my own of Endgame. And I'm excited by that because I just want to be, I want to be, I want it to wash over me. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm. I don't know if it's going to be the same pace as the first half, of, like, as um, Infinity War. Because if it is, it's like, well, got to buckle your seatbelt again, everybody. Hang Strap on. Strap in. <laughs> Let's rip your heart out one story at a time. Let's go. <laughs> no. Well, um, just, uh, if in Infinity War, just like when it started off the way it did, that's when I was like, holy shit, this is going to be really, really fast. Well, because they are trying to fit all of this information into an hour to three hours. Well, look and at how many people, how many, when they had the list of what, what co- uh, comic book characters were going to be in it. And the list is like big, bigger than 30. You're like, okay, how do you That's put that into like <laughs> a movie? That's like two minutes a person. Like, <sighs> this yeah. is a lot. And then- like I was, I was scrolling. I was scrolling on Facebook, and somebody had um, done a little uh, cartoon. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it's like it's like. Meanwhile, in the spirit world, and it shows Peter waking up, and there's Bucky is like leaning over him, like, "Hey, kid, are you right?" And he's like, "Jesus!" <laughs> <laughs> like it's so oh, funny. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god, yeah, I know I'm excited about Avengers Endgame for sure. Um, I mean, it's all been culminating in this, right? It's been a long time. So I gotta start, I think I might do some rewatch this time. I didn't do that last time, I might do it this time. Try to do some some more rewatches. I I tried to, but I didn't get very far. Um, But I've also been so busy getting ready to start my rewatch of Game of Thrones because I always rewatch all of it before Mm. the new season starts. So that's happening pretty soon. Have fun with that. This, this what seven seasons? Eight. Yep. yep. Now it's eight. Um, I enjoy it every time though, and I, I put mm. it on in the background a lot too. It's got really good music. Oh like, god, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, let's see. I, mm, I don't know if you know my feelings on Detective Pikachu. I don't remember if you were on that show. <laughs> I was not. Um, I think it's gonna be really stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so dumb. It's it looks so dumb. It looks dumb, but I won't watch it anyway. It's gonna be so dumb. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's it's at that point where you're like, is this so dumb that it's gonna be good? I hope I, so. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that either way that I am in. I want to be entertained. That's all I. I please entertain me. Uh, I don't even know. Um. Uh, you've got Tolkien. Um, oh yeah, no, I, I saw that. I so literally. A snippet of that trailer flashed while I was in the movies. I was watching a movie in the theater, and I, like, grabbed the man friend, and I'm like, oh, my God! And, like, because I immediately knew that, that that it was just, like, a Tolkien story, and I'm like, okay, what is the deal? And it's kind of interesting, because mm-hmm. it's weirdly biographical Tolkien. Yeah. But not, but it is, question <laughs> I don't know. It is, I'm intrigued. I'll watch it. I will love it. I mean, those are like my favorite books as a kid. So, I mean, of course, I'm going to. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. I mean. A Dog's Journey looks familiar to me. Like, I think I may have. So, so it's the second. It's a, it's a sequel to A Dog's Purpose. Oh, I never saw that. It's, uh, you know, I did see it. I will admit there were some parts of it that like made me tear up. Oh. Um despite some of the negative like press that it got. Um it's, you know, it's it's a pretty heartfelt kind of movie and then it looks like it's just kind of it's in the same kind of vein as that, but it's focusing on one human another human character. So hmm. we'll see how it does. <laughs> a lot of people liked the first one, so they're probably going to like the second one. Yeah. It kind of it, it's a little reminiscent to me of after um, Homeward Bound, and that did really well. Strangely enough, that they were like, "Well, let's make another one." <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Homeward Bound again, even more bound for Homeward. For homeward <laughs> through a city this time, yeah. rather than the wilderness. <laughs> uh, I just remember was that was the one with uh, with Michael J. Fox as the the pit bull looking dog, right? Is that the right one? Uh, I, maybe I don't remember if that's who was voicing him. I'm almost positive that that. But was... it's it's the dog's name was Chance. Yeah, and the, it was the definitely... others the others was Shadow the other dog, and then it was Shadow Sassy. and Chance Sassy and the Sassy cat. the cat. Yep, <laughs> Chance voiced by Michael J. Fox. Uh, <laughs> Is an immature and disobedient American bulldog. That's what I meant, bulldog. I think it's a pit bull. Yeah. yeah, bulldog. And uh, yeah, there you go. How delightful. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, a sassy, uh, sassy, a smart mouthed Himalayan cat owned by Jamie and Peter's sister Hope was voiced <laughs> by Sally Field. Of course it was. Of course. Delightful. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Um, Oh, another the another Disney remake, Aladdin. Yeah, the Aladdin one. I do not feel good about it at all, but no. whatever. It'll be what it is, right? It'll be whatever I it will of, be. It will. I kind of feel like Hollywood was like, so uh, the genie was voiced by a, um, a, a comedian the first time, so obviously we need to get another sort of comedian to do him again. And I'm like, couldn't you have just left it alone? I mean, a lot... The, 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 the animated version of Aladdin wasn't ever my one of my favorite movies. Um, I just never like latched onto it as much as I've latched onto other Disney movies. And then now they're making a remake of it, and I'm like, uh, eh, eh, meh. <laughs> yeah, um, I I don't feel good about it. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know how I feel about him. I am excited. Uh, I have a lot of friends that are super stoked about Godzilla, but I'm not really, whatever. I'm not really a Godzilla I'm actually, person. Actually, to back up a little bit, um, Brightburn uh, yeah. is strangely intriguing. So it's like, it's the beginning of the Superman story, sort of, except that the alien that comes to Earth and is adopted by humans isn't a good guy. Oh, cool. So I oh and, I'm already in yeah Elizabeth like that Banks looks is in the cast. really it looks really interesting. She usually isn't in anything that I don't enjoy. Cause, yeah, because it's like it's taking the 
you know, the, the, the story that we're now familiar with thanks to like comics and, and movies and it's like turning it kind of on its head, which I think is super interesting. I'm sure they've done it at some point in a comic, but you know, huh. a big screen. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm intrigued. Um, and yeah, no, I'm glad you brought that up, but that actually is of interest to me now. Yep. I'm going to use this as my shopping list for movies later. Your shopping then. list, yeah. <laughs> I'm be like, um, these are the movies I, I need to see. <laughs> if if we have the fun, the funds for it, I, I will go see Godzilla, King of Monsters. Just I'm does. just, I'm not sure. It kind of feels like they went off the rails a little bit from the way that they, like, the way they set it up in the first movie. And now Godzilla's psychic somehow, question mark? Or she can... The main little character can talk to them. So I don't even know. Is this the know. one where like the other things are rising up? So Godzilla's gonna fight for the humans, right? I yeah, think I saw yeah. this trailer and I was like, rising up. Or I was really confused. Because I thought it, also it was gonna like be coming like, from space. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a Rise of the Titans. Like, um, I really thought it was gonna be like a Rise of the Titans, like old Greek myth story with super CGI, and I'm all like, "Ooh, I'm kind of interested." Like, is this like the Titans and like Hercules, like sending the Titans back to the center of the Earth or whatever, however that works? But no, no, it was Godzilla, oh, and I was like, "Oh, Godzilla. okay." It, it, <laughs> you know, I I get that they're kind of taking from the like the later stories that they did of Godzilla, where he's fighting on the human side but just it's it doesn't fit the world that they kind of made in the first one yeah if that makes sense i don't know i have friends that are super like godzilla stoked people i'm just not that person i guess it's just not my yeah, day i mean not my, not my deal. cg is gonna be awesome sure. um it's gonna be a lot of kick-ass fight scenes i, I don't know enjoy the story's for that, for good sure. yeah i mean who <laughs> I won't enjoy that <laughs> I mean, who cares? Sometimes you just gotta go. I mean, like, I, I went and saw every Fast and the Furious movie in the theaters, and people were like, right. oh, but the I mean, it's not really a great story. I'm like, dude, I don't go for the fucking stories. I go to watch people drive fast cars, hot bitches, and, like, have a really good time. Like, that's... Yep. If you're going for anything else, like, you're making mistakes with your life. If you're expecting more from your, yeah. your Fast and the Furious movies than that. Um, and, yep. again, sometimes you just gotta have a movie that's just fun. <laughs> and that sounds like maybe a fun action-y flick that will entertain you for the time that it is long. Yes. Um, Rocket Man, um, I believe, is the biography of Elton John, Elton right? Elton John, yes. Now, what's super weird is doing biographies of people that are still alive. Granted, I know that he did go through mm -hmm. his retirement and doing his like final concerts. I think now finishing them up, his final concerts, um, as he's retiring because he and his partner or husband, whatever have a very young have young children which is mm -hmm. interesting um but i it's weird to have a biography of somebody who's super still alive uh, uh, i like, don't know maybe usually they wait until like am i i mean i don't know like unless it's like the story separately like pursuit of happiness Chris Gardner is still alive, right? The guy who mm -hmm. Will Smith is portraying, still alive. But the idea is it's like a whole, it's like a whole story, right? Oh, is this Kim Jong- Wait, oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, this makes everything make more sense. This will, uh, this make everything make more sense. This make English make real good. Um, <laughs> okay, that would be much better if this is going to be, aha, an epic musical fantasy about the uncensored human story of Sir Elton John's breakthrough years. Okay, so it's just the like beginning okay. of his story. Okay. I mean, I don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm going to watch it, and it's probably going to be pretty good. But yeah, I did think it was that when they did Chaney, I thought it was weird, too. I was like, did he die? I literally looked mm -hmm. it up on my phone when I left the theater. I was like, did Chaney die, and I missed it? After they <laughs> did, like, I saw a trailer for his story. I mean, yeah, and they did W, like, after, but he was president. Like, they do presidents all the time before they die. Like, that's very normal. But mm -hmm. usually, like, musicians and, like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like music artists, yeah. they usually wait until they're dead and then they do a big thing about them. You know, what's interesting is that's not the only musical biography, 
like drama biography. Um, is it Breakthrough? I don't know. Yeah, Breakthrough is about Motley Crue. Um, oh, yeah. I am excited about that. I forgot about that. And then uh, Teen Spirit, it's, it's not like a biography, but it is a drama about somebody in the music industry. So it's like there are a lot of like music industry movies this this spring do you strangely f- enough do you feel like that's them trying to capitalize on the success that bohemian rhapsody had thinking that they're going to have similar success i think so i think that I based, that definitely set a precedent and they're like we need to cash in on that <laughs> i just don't think they understand that freddie mercury is such a figure and queen as a band is such a i mean i i'm a queen fan i don't know anybody who's not so i mean I, how I, do you i saw once I saw once that somebody on Tumblr was like, I am convinced that Freddie Mercury was a siren because who everyone knows Bohemian Rhapsody and they don't remember how they've learned it, but they all know the words. Oh, and yeah. I mean, it's such like a weird year song. Olds. It's such a weird song. <laughs> Why would you know it? And, and there's like 12 year olds that know it. Yeah. And you're like, how it's... the hell do you know what this is? You don't know anything so, yeah. else from that time. It just permeates, but it's, a, it's a, in particular. So I don't know if I, I don't know if I talked about my connection to Bohemian Rhapsody before as a song. But um, when I was in college, I went to UC Santa Cruz and each of the, so UC Santa Cruz is broken up into different colleges. And um, the idea is, is so you don't feel like you're lost in a big university. So there's like Crown College, which is the one I was in. There's Stevenson College and they're all. And they all have kind of different flavors or themes. Like Porter was like the the super hippies. Uh, Kresge <laughs> was like the weirdo acid trip hippies. And then like Crown College was supposed to be the science one, which is why I was there because that was originally what I was going to do. Oops. Um, so each <laughs> there's like eight houses and they're all named after like Rutherford, Gauss, um, uh, I, other ones that I can't think of at the moment. Um <laughs> I think Darwin might have actually been one. It might have actually been a Darwin house, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that was the one that had the... Anyway, um, the, the, <laughs> every year one of them was like the, the women's hall because we had co-ed bathrooms. And by co-ed bathrooms, I mean literally one single bathroom with stalls and showers that ah. people of both sexes would go or any sexes would go into. Uh, so every college, because of the co-ed bathroom policy at the, at the university, they had uh, a, a women's dorm. So anyway, side story. Um, I lived in Galileo House. So the freshmen, they move us in like two weeks before like any classes start. So basically we have nothing to do except for stay up like stupidly late and get to know each other. Mm -hmm. And part of the thing is that they do this like, you know, introduce the house fair thing and to kind of like get everybody psyched uh, to be at Crown College students or whatever. Um, so the RAs did this co- competitive thing where we were all going to come out to like our theme song for mm-hmm. our houses and, uh, it would get played as we all like charged onto our little field in the, like in the outdoor amphitheater where we were doing all this. And of course, like we didn't really think it was a big deal. We totally chose Bohemian Rhapsody because it's <laughs> like of the Galileo part, obviously. Yeah. And everybody else, like their songs are all going. And we realized that like we had the best song. We felt super bad because all the other houses had these <laughs> really dumb songs. And we were just like, mm-hmm. we have Queen. And we're like, oh, our, our, our bad guys. We live in Galileo house. So, mm-hmm. so to this day, like my bestie will, will literally <laughs> like, I'll just get like, that on a voicemail or like a message (laughs) (laughs) um because yeah so that song was like our our anthem of galileo house uh because yeah at our pre pre preschool before school started uh i don't even know what the point of that is like i get you all competitive with each other because you're gonna be in a class together like i don't know it's to form it's you know to form bonds with your housemates so that you get along yeah, because they they shove a bunch of people into dorm rooms, which is super great. Mm-hmm. Um, I had four chicks in one room. Whoever had that idea was really ha- stupid. <laughs> but no, I have I have a, a like a tiny story to go with that song too. Actually, so like back when my husband and I were first dating, like, um, I would go over to the house where he was staying because he was renting from a friend of ours, um, and then he would we would both pile into his car and go like either to a movie or to um, 
to dinner. Uh, so we were coming back to, to the house and as we're driving into his neighborhood, that that song starts playing on the radio. And we, like, drove three times around the neighborhood singing the song with each other instead of him, like, pulling into the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> circling around the it's neighborhood such an and singing epic, Queen. <laughs> it's so epic. Like, it's such an epic song. And that, you know, I was very happy with that movie, by the way. I thought it was really well done. Um, I want to go see it like a million times. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so you bring it back around to the uh, to the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> they're just, I think they're just trying to. They saw that that was like like popular, and so they're trying to do it with other people's stories. I actually think that may be why they also did Tolkien. Um, yeah, well, there have been a couple things that have been successful. Like, people are really digging the whole, like, true story, you know, stuff. I mean, look at all the stuff on Netflix. So much of it is, like, all the all the serial killer crap. Well, it's, it's, it's the zeitgeist right it's now. Like it's the it's true what's, stories what's, yeah, are it's the what's thing. Cre- it's what's cresting in everybody's, like, um, what is it, like, interest? Yeah. It's it's like back when zombies were the big thing. Is like everybody's like, oh, zombies, and that thing went. It did its big crest and <laughs> fall. Um, let's let's go back to werewolves, guys. I like werewolves. Um, yeah, but so, anyway, <laughs> like honestly, my whole thing is, I, like I I like that. I was a big I was big into gonzo journalism and like that kind of literature interests me. So of course that kind of film interests me too. If we can get like true stories, there's so much shit that happens for real. So yeah, I mean, sometimes was that whole sometimes truth is stranger than fiction for sure. So, yeah, there's a reason uh, we'll that, that's a saying. There's yeah. a reason that's a saying. <laughs> so. <it's> true. <laughs> So if you guys have uh, thoughts and feelings on the movies that are coming up in the in the spring, uh, you can chime in by emailing us at geekgirls at gmail.com or give us a ring at 508-474-5577. And you can also tweet us at geekgirls. Give us your opinions, your thoughts. You know, feelings. if you want us to if you want us to do um, one of these for the summer movies, you know, let us know. Um, we can just goob and chat about the movies coming up. And yeah. what we are wanting to see. Totally. <laughs> so, Jen, what are you most anticipating right now? I'm finally going to get caught up on the new season of RuPaul's Drag Race that just started. So, <laughs> season 11 got yeah. started. I'm excited. I want to watch Russian Dolls. I'm really excited about that, too. Um, again, the fan event for Captain Marvel's on Thursday. So, I'm super excited. Um, I We're almost done with our campaign. I haven't been talking about it, but I've been playing an Inquisitor and Pathfinder, and we've been doing this big campaign, this big epic story. And <laughs> we're, we were actually supposed to finish it last weekend, but there was too much combat. It was too complex. Um, <laughs> so we are finishing it at our next session. Um, but what's cool is what we're going to start this weekend is our characters have become mythic and are super awesome. And so we have like our cohort, like our castle and our city that we combine together because the undead are taking over the earth because our DM wanted to basically make it a Game of Thrones style story <laughs> in the Pathfinder world. Actually, it's in Faerun, which is actually like a D&D world, but we're using Pathfinder mm-hmm. system. It's very complicated anyway. Um, but the point is, is that we save the city and whatever, and there's a multiple... You know, there's people there that have to, like, fight while we're off dealing with this other thing. They're there fighting. So one of the guys in the game is going to run the story of what happens. Basically, his campaign that starts this weekend is going to be the people that we, like, brought into the castle and whatnot. So we're each going to play, like, out of the core book, you know, core classes, core book kind of stuff. But we're going to play, like, townspeople there that are and what they go through on their side over that 10 year period before, as we continue the campaign with our, our mythic characters later, we're going to be kind of fast you're forwarding having... 10 years, but we're going to play through that with our, you're having like, a, you're having ones. a background, you're having a background character, uh, yeah. <laughs> episode yeah. basically. <laughs> uh, but I think it's kind of a cool idea. I was really excited when, uh, one of the players mentioned it. Cause I'm like, that would be really fun. Right. Like, how do they figure that out? Do they, how do they survive it? Like, what happens in that battle? Because we're off, like, dealing with Nerzul and the phylactery that we have to kill and all kinds of other stuff. It's very complicated. Um, The cat is sitting on a box and the dog is literally barking at it. 
He wants more cheese. I know. The problem is, is that he ate, he ate me more cheese. He ate all the (laughs) cheese. Come here. Um, (laughs) but yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, but I also wanted to mention, speaking of movies, uh, so the summer movie draft is happening. Um, it's the thing that night attack has done for like forever. And other people in the diamond club have done for like forever. Uh, DTNS, all that crap. They all do the summer movie draft. Um, so we're going to be doing a Diamond Club Stream Team Summer Movie Draft, um, and W. Scott is one, uh, is going to be hosting, but it'll be on this Saturday, and I will be on Team Drunk Kids Gaming, uh, DKG with Curly, uh, and I think maybe some others, uh, but you can get the details on that, but we're going to stream it on Saturday, we'll be, uh, selecting our movies, um, it's like a fantasy movie thing, uh, but DiamondClub.tv, um, is the place to go for Diamond Club. We're part of the Diamond Club stream team down below. Yay! So check that shit out. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll be on Saturday. So look for that. It'll be a fun time. Um, and just to remind folks too, you can always come and watch us while we're recording live. It's super fun. We do it Tuesday evenings. Uh, the next one's going to be March 12th. Uh, and that will be at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is 5 p.m. Pacific. That's right, because and then time the time change. change happens, which means that Jen will no longer be in Mountain Time, but I basically will have no idea what time it is anywhere else for the next couple months. So, looking <laughs> forward to that. Uh, but no, it'll be 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, on uh, good old Tuesday uh, next week. So come hang out with us. And holy moly! Um, also, Ember's normally here to say that part, so I realize, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I realize that I totally. <laughs> Forgot to, that Linda has things coming up. So sorry, Linda. Continue. It's okay. Um, yeah, one of us is going to have to say it anyway. Uh, <laughs> basically, <laughs> uh, my most uh, anticipated thing for this coming week is I'm starting my new job on Monday. So Yay. I'm going to be going in for orientation and getting all my tax forms filed and that fun adulting thing. <laughs> I also, I, I forgot to write this down i have to go and finally get my license renewed on oh. like this coming friday it, it man okay i tried i tried to get it renewed like and i had to go twice and they didn't tell me what i needed the first time and the second time the customer service lady like i could have keeled over and died and she wouldn't have cared i was so angry <laughs> <laughs> so here's what cracks me about arizona i won't give the exact details because of course i don't want to betray my very personal information but um, my driver's license expires in the year 2049. That's, That's nice. a really fucking long time. When I moved to Arizona and I got my first one, I was like, they fucked up. Nope. That's literally how it is for everyone. They're good for like 30 mid- bajillion years. I don't. Yeah. That's weird. Like mine was mine. When I, when I got it, it was good for 10 years. So it's now been the 10 years. It's 2019. And I got to renew. I mean, it wasn't my first one, obviously. I was not 16 in 2009. Um, but, you know, I was at the point, at that point, I was like, oh, so many years. And then, like, in between that time and now, they changed the law. So you have to, like, have a bunch of information so they know that you are who you say you are. And, uh, like, I had a copy of my birth certificate with me, but it wasn't certified. It wasn't the certified one. It was a copy of the certified one. And they couldn't take that. And then I didn't have my social security card with me because they didn't tell me I needed to bring it. And I was so angry. I was so angry. Like, I think I used the word incandescent. I was incandescently <laughs> angry. Oh, God. That's like yes. the worst. I hate bureaucracy. Someday I'll tell some of my DMV stories. They're bad. I have <laughs> I have really bad luck. I think one of the ones that's like the shortest to describe is when I was in Nevada um, my driver's license, I didn't notice that they had forgotten my eye in Jennifer, so they couldn't verify my insurance, and it was this whole fucking complicated Yikes. thing, and they're like, well, you didn't fill out the form correctly, and I had to pay a bajillion dollars for them to pull the original document to turn out that the person that typed it in screwed up, that I did, in fact, know how to spell my name, and I did, in fact, <laughs> spell it correctly on the form that I filled out, but, you know, whatever. It was whatever. very, it was my Brazil moment, where I'm, like, Tuttle and Buttle or whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah, yay, new job. That's super exciting. Yay. Yep. New job. Sure it's going to be mostly like orientation and stuff, but, yeah. um, it, it, I should be able to, I'm, 
it looks like I, I'll be able to pick it up pretty quickly. So I have faith in my own abilities. <laughs> Hooray! Um, so I just want to remind everybody, too, in addition to all the subs and the bits that we get here on Twitch, uh, we are supported by our amazing patrons. Uh, they are the best grill friends on the Internet. And in case you want to know, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash grills. And don't forget, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can sub to us for free. You get a sub for free every month with your Twitch Prime. So use that shit. Give us the money that is yes, Amazon's. Please. We will take mm -hmm. Amazon's money. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you can leave us a review, which, it, which is doing so as free on any of your podcast catchers. They help our rankings, which help people find us which is great. Uh, you can also join our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter if you'd like to help spread the word there. Yes. All and, of those things are good because because they're good. They make us yes. feel good. And where can we find you on the interwebs, Jen? I am at the Jen Says on Twitter, streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the Jen Plays. And you can find everything that I do at thegensays.com because I own that domain. Hooray. And you can find Ember at... Uh, Nine of twelve on Twitter and Twitch, and on the he here's heresy and hearsay, and trust your Kate podcasts. Sorry, Ember, I messed it up a little bit. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, you can, and as for myself, you can listen to me talk about women in gaming on the Glitter Dice podcast, which comes out the first of every month. And you can find me on Twitch under the name True Noob. That's T R U N zero zero B. It's where I do my creative streams. So. That's it for us for this week. Thanks for listening, everyone. Good game. Good game. GG. GG. <laughs>